You can use the brazing process, but substituting copper electrical wire. This is a standard piece of 8 gauge copper wire. There are a couple of reasons to use copper electrical wire as opposed to the standard bracing rod. If you want the appearance of copper as opposed to the brass look you get with the bronze brazing rod, then use the copper wire. Or, if you run out of brazing rod at 2 a.m. and you have a job to finish, you can use a piece of copper wire. Here I'm using no flux to join two pieces of one quarter inch mild steel. Because this is new material and it's clean, meaning no oxidization, the copper wire flows quite well with no flux. Here I'm using a powdered flux. Notice the large yellow flame as the torch melts the flux on the rod. Even when wearing dark brazing glasses, I find it difficult to see exactly how the wire is flowing. This is brazing with a paste flux rubbed onto the copper wire. Here it's easier to see the flow of the copper wire compared to using the powdered flux. In my work, I use as little flux as possible. Of course, if I'm working with oxidized material or rusted steel, there is no option other than to use liberal amounts of flux. Looking at the finished pieces, there is not that much difference between not using any flux and using the paste flux. This piece, done with the powdered flux, has some examples of excellent penetration. But the appearance is not desirable for my work. 